A lot of finger pointing going on, but it, I just can't believe this keeps happening. You can imagine the frustration of waking up early this morning, trying to go vote before you have to go into work, only to be turned away and told that you have to go somewhere else. Team Tools Nicole Zymet continues our live team coverage with what voters caught up in all the trouble had to say. Yeah, Karibe, frustrated is the word that came up over and over again. Many people also telling us that it's been hard for them to get answers. It's unfair. Seems like the same thing over and over again. We showed up and there's no equipment. I feel that something is wrong. And I got down to the polling place and go inside. There's volunteers in there helping and the lady comes up and says, sorry, you can't vote right now because our electronics aren't working. I'm real happy about that, let me tell you. Well, I got here about 10 before 6. The IT people hadn't come last night to set up. Portia Barge was turned away when she came to drop off the ballots for several of her family members. I was told that I could only drop off one ballot at a time. When I challenged that, um, I was told that that was it. I'm only dropping one ballot off. They weren't accepting anymore. She had to come back a second time before they finally accepted those ballots. Very frustrating. I feel like um, my vote is being suppressed. It just does not look good and it's very disturbing. They're telling you you can go to another place to vote, but we got over there and it's provisional. A lot of anger and irritation you heard there. Coming up at six, hear from a woman who almost missed the election for the first time in 46 years, all because of these issues. Kareem and Mark, back over to you.